my YouTube friends. Live streaming is all about fun moments that entertain your audience. Finding every trick that can help you do that is absolutely key. And one of the best ways to add more personality to your stream is a cool soundboard. You can easily use it to add spice to any scene. And if you're creative and use the sounds that become a thing on your live stream, your audience is gonna look forward to it and absolutely love it. So today, I'm gonna show you how to add a soundboard totally free to your live stream. So you know what? Let's get to it! Now creating a soundboard is easy with paid tools like Stream Deck or applications like VoiceMod. But I know that when you're just starting out, you want to spend as little as possible. I get that. In fact, I still try to spend as little as possible and I've been doing this for years. So we're going to use a free plugin called the Downstream Keyer. There is a link in the description below so you can download it and check it out and follow along. That is the best way to learn. Let's install this plugin. So this is the page that you're going to go to in order to get the Downstream Keyer and you just click the download button right here and then what we're going to do is select our platform in my case we're going to do the windows installer this will just be a windows zip file that will install differently the windows installer is definitely the easiest one and then of course you have mac and linux so we'll just download the windows installer right here and i already have this installed on my system but i will walk you through exactly how this works. It's really pretty simple. So we're gonna go to download and we're gonna go ahead and extract this. And then we'll go in here and we just have the downstream keyer installer. You just double click it. You're going to get an administrative prompt that you can't see, but you just click yes on that. And then you click to install. Of course, this is a warning saying I'm running currently OBS Studio because of course that's what I'm recording in. So you're not going to have this. But either way, you're going to next through everything and that's going to install the downstream keyer. And then you're going to open up your OBS. It's really that simple to install. It's not going to be a problem for you. And that's where you get it and how you download it and put it on your system. The only thing you really have to do is make sure that you're installing it into the correct location. And your location is probably going to be in C program files OBS dash studio. Easy enough, right? Now let's set up our soundboard. Once you have it installed on your system, we'll open up our OBS. Here we have it right here. And you can see this is just your starting standard screen. And what I'm gonna do is go ahead and I'll just load a video capture device in here. So we have a camera and go ahead and put my audio in here as well just because it's good to get into the habit of doing it right. So there we go. Now we have a camera. We have some audio down there. We're all set. When you come in the first time after you install it, it may just pop up. But if it doesn't, you can just go into Docs and you click your downstream keyer, and here it is. You can just dock it anywhere you want. So you just drag it and dock it. And there we go. So now we have it installed, we have it up in here. How do we use it? Well, what we need to do is create some scenes with audio in them. So we can just click here and we'll call this I'm ready because that is going to be the audio we're gonna use for this. And then we just click under sources and we're going to put the clip in here. So we're gonna to go to media source and we'll call this I'm ready clip and we're gonna click okay. And we'll go in here and we're going to find our clips. And in this case, I do have a soundboard folder. So we just go in here and we've got I'm ready. Click OK. And we don't want to loop this. So we can just click OK. And you can hear that clip is pretty loud. So I'm going to turn it down. Boom. We have our first clip. And we're going to click the plus in our scenes. And we'll put in another one and we're going to click OK. We're going to go to our media sources here and we're just going to name this one and then we have to just find our clip and we can click OK. 
No need to loop, nothing like that. Just make sure your levels are good. We'll do one more right here. And we'll call this one a whip. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click the plus. And we're going to add our media source. And I'll call this whip clip. Click OK. Browse, grab our whip clip. OK and OK. So now we have three audio clips in here and you can see these audio clips automatically run when we select those scenes. That's just how we have these set up. But we're going to go to this main scene here and we're going to focus on our downstream keyer. Now if you've never used it before, basically the downstream keyer allows you to select items that will play in any scene that you're in. So if we have 20 scenes here and we select something in the downstream keyer, that video or audio will play in that scene and your audience will be able to hear it. And what makes it beautiful is you can name this stuff. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and click over here and I'm gonna rename this. Instead of disc one, we're gonna call it soundboard, which means you can have different tabs for different things that you wanna use in the downstream keyer. So now we see our soundboard is right here and in order to add any of this audio we'll just click on I'm ready and we're gonna go ahead and click the plus right here and you can see there it is we'll click on oh yeah and we'll click the plus and there it is we'll click on the whip and click oh yeah there we go the plus and that's in there as well and now when we go to scenes all we have to do is click on any of these and you see it's showing up in our little audio mixer right there is playing. We want to stop it, we click the pause button right here. We start it again by just selecting it. And you can see that it's going to be highlighted when you select it, which means it's active. So you click your pause button to deactivate it. And that way you just select any one of these to run your soundboard. Pretty awesome. It's really that easy to set up a soundboard. And let's say you had videos that you wanted to use in a downstream keyer as well. Well, we can click here and we can go and add, and we can add another board. So we can use uh, overlays or vids, right? And so we can add video clips that we wanna add. Uh, let's go ahead and just add something here. Let's just put a name in there and we'll click the plus and we're gonna go to our media source and we'll call this jokes and click OK and then I'm gonna go ahead and browse and this one right here and we'll click OK and there we go that's the overlay we're gonna select vids up here and we're gonna go ahead and click the plus and now when we go in here we have access to all of our soundboard stuff that we can play you can see it playing down there pause that we can go over here to vids and we can play that as well and boom it's right over top of everything so not only will this allow you to add soundboard stuff but it will allow you to add pretty much any sort of video overlay that you want over any scene so if we had other scenes which we can just create a simple scene here we're gonna go and click the plus and what I'm gonna do is just add a media source and we're gonna use a background in here. So let's see here. How about this one right here? And we can loop this, click OK. And so now we have a video scene in here. And if we select this scene right here, it will go up over top of that. And if we change scenes and we select it again, it will go up right over top of this one. It doesn't even matter. In fact, it will even go over top of your transitions. So we can move this scene up here and I can go ahead and kick it off and I can go to transition and it's still there. So that's how these work. The audio for the soundboard will work exactly the same way. You can select it right up here. Now you can also set these up for hotkeys. It's really pretty simple. We go into settings and we go into hotkeys and you can change back and forth since we have two tabs here you can change back and forth from vids to disk one 
which it's still listed as disk one, even though we changed the name to soundboard. If we exit out of OBS and we come back in, that'll change. So let's just do that, just so I can show you that it will actually change. And then we go into our settings, and we go into hotkeys, and we can see right here, it changed to soundboard and vids. So we can enable the tab, or we can enable this tab. You can set up hotkeys right here to flip back and forth between these so you don't have to flip back and forth. Using your mouse, you can just click a button on the, the keyboard. And then if we go down here and we see I'm ready, which is our sound, you can show it on the soundboard and hide it on the soundboard. And essentially what that means is it will select it and deselect it. So clicking on it like this is just the same as clicking the eyeball to show it or not show it. In other words, if I go into I'm ready and I, I can turn it off by unclicking the eyeball, I can turn it on by clicking the eyeball. So basically that's what that allows you to do. It allows you to do exactly the same thing. So let's just add a quick hotkey. We go into settings, we go into hotkeys, and we can just scroll down here and we'll go to the first one, I'm ready, and we're gonna show on soundboard. So let's use the Z key, and I'm gonna use the same key to unshow it, and then we'll click apply, and okay, and now we can click the Z key, and you can see it's playing down there, and you can see it highlighted in soundboard under the downstream key and then I can just click Z again and it turns it off. It's really that simple. You can set up all of your soundboard just like that so you never have to use your mouse. You can just click it right on the keyboard. It's going to play for your audience over whatever you wanna play. It also means that even though we have these categorized, we can set this one up with a hotkey and we don't have to be physically on that, on that screen to activate it so let's go down here and let's set this to the X key and we'll click apply and okay and we're just gonna select soundboard and we'll come in here and we can play the I'm ready sound and we can play these are the jokes even though we didn't switch tabs or anything and we can click each one to turn them off it's really that simple to put any sort of audio or video over top of your scene. Now, the one thing I didn't talk about is where you get your audio clips for your soundboard. Well, there's hundreds of places to do it. A lot of the sound clips that I got, as long as they're under 30 seconds, you're pretty much free to use whatever you want. So if you know there's a sound in a video or you know that there is a line from a movie or something that you want, you can just go grab it. And as long as it's under 30 seconds, you're gonna be just fine with reusing it so any kind of audio or sound or voiceovers or anything like that that you want to use, well, just go get it. Just download it from the YouTube video or from whatever source you want, clip it out so it is under 30 seconds and short and whatever, and then go ahead and use it. That's how you can populate your soundboard with pretty much anything that you want that's going to entertain your audience. I told you it was easy. If you want to see other plugins that I love to use to make my live streams better, you should check this video out. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fryer Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.